Hi guys, welcome to the very first Mike's VR Retro Corner. Well, it's not Retro VR, sorry. I'm so used to saying Mike's VR Corner, but it's actually Mike's Retro Corner today. So, where should we start with this? It's one of my first streams, so if you're new to the channel, please come on in, make yourself comfortable. We'll be talking mostly about retro games, consoles and computers, and uh, hopefully getting some working as well. So... Today's episode is regarding a item I purchased many, many, many years ago. Um, in my younger days, I used to go around rubbish dumps and uh, see what other people were throwing out. And I picked up many retro computers and consoles from rubbish dumps when I was quite young. Um, one of these was a PC Engine. And uh, it, it was quite a big bundle of stuff. Um, I ended up paying about one pound for it I think at the time and uh, I have it here on the floor so let me just grab some of it for you so here's uh, one of the consoles that are in the bundle and this is the other uh, console that was in the bundle so if they're all PC engines um, this is the CD attachment for the PC engine and this is the core graphics version which the only difference between these two is this one only has a standard kind of output for like a TV output, where this one actually has a uh, kind of video output as well at the side. Now, as I said, there was other items in this particular bundle of stuff that was dumped. And uh, one of them was this game, it's what I say, it's a game doctor. So basically, it's a it's a device back in the day. So those people who didn't want to pay for games, um, they would slot this in, it would all connect up, and they would slot that into the console, and then that would allow the console to load the games from floppy disk, which is great. Um, I, I remember seeing something like this a long, long, long time ago for the Mega Drive, and having to load your games off a floppy disk back then was a little bit painful free but painful now i really don't know how we're going to get this to work because any information i can really find on it is an instruction manual uh, which was translated to english from japanese and um there's there's no file formats there's i don't know what the format of discs should be i don't know what acceptable rom images it will take i don't know how it dumped them so i i don't know if i can just grab a rom image off online and then put it onto the disc it may not work but let's let's concentrate on consoles for now now they did luckily come with some controllers. So there was two controllers that I got with them. Um, one, I believe, has been a little bit butchered. This one seems fine. It's uh, It's got some nice movement on there. All. I think that's good. I've never taken it apart. I've never tried it. This one, I think someone's may have broken something on it originally because this it's just it's just turned. It doesn't, it doesn't even sit in there properly. It's, I don't think that is for this so i think someone's taken something out of another joystick and put it in there but what we will do with this is we will design something in 3d program and to replace that now getting onto the consoles so if i switch over to my bench game so here we have the white pc engine it's a little bit a little bit scratched up in places so what we're going to try and do is to give it a little bit of a clean up so Let's get them outside. Now, the unlucky thing about these was when I purchased them uh, for my expensive pound, they um, they weren't uh, didn't have any games with them. So I have actually, if I look through my box of junk down here, I actually ordered a game online to test it out, and uh, I don't remember what this game is actually called. But uh, let's open up the package so I can show that to you. So here we have the game. Is that going to focus? But uh, it's not going to focus very well. But that's my test game. 
But in the meantime, what I did in in the wait for getting this video ready, um, I've actually purchased a uh, an SD card adapter for it as well. So if it does work, happy days. I'll have uh, plenty of uh, games to uh, to try it out on. So without further ado, now what we want to do when we want to clean this up, let's uh, go ahead and take it apart because again I've never opened these up so I, I, don't, I don't know what the condition of the inside will be as I said these were these were rubbish dump consoles so I will open up this one for us if I get the right size screw burner that'll be handy. Where are we? There we go. it's not the best set not anymore anyway so there we go. So we've got four screws on the bottom. Now what I, what I kind of want to do is to get it looking a little bit fresher than what it is. This is all before I power it up. So this will be, this could be a, a couple of parties. So if you, uh, if you like this kind of thing, please stick around and or come and watch the videos later after I'm finished. Um, let's get this one done. This is still not the best screwdriver that I've selected to do this. So, there we go, four screws out. Okay, we've got a nice little heat shield under there. No, no real dirt inside. Oh, the heat shield is just held on there. I don't think that was, I want to say I don't, it was definitely soldered in at one time. Okay, that's interesting. So this heat, well, it's either a ground plane or a heat shield. It was. It looks like it could have been soldered in at one time because um, on the bottom here, you can kind of see where it's separated from from there. So there's a bit of track there. Is that is this a bit of the board? So the, the actual track is on the end here, which is a bit a bit rubbish. But never mind. I mean, that's that's, that's nothing to worry about. There looks like there's been some mods done to this. Um, there's some cables coming from the the back port going to different areas, and there's one here as well. I'm not sure. As I said, my knowledge of these devices is um, non-existent. Um, I've never owned a PC engine till the day I bought these, and I've never used a PC engine. So, and it looks like there's been some repair work done here on the socket too. You can see there's some. I wish this camera would actually focus. There's some really dodgy solder going on here. So let's lift this out, see what we've got inside. So appears to be a ribbon cable here. Okay. Okay. So we have a nice ribbon cable. We have the TV modulator here. There's not much to them really. I mean, if you think about these were these were around about the same time as the the Mega Drive Master System had come out. Um, let's let's get this out because we want to clean up this area as well. Having the right tools ready for what for what you're doing is uh, always good as well. So let's get this out. So another four screws. No, it's actually three screws here. They are slightly different screws to the case screws, so we will keep them separate. Okay. There's a nice little protected cover there, so there's no shorts. So we'll put that to the side with the screws for it at the side as well. Right then, so I can't really see much. There's a bit of dust in the actual workings area, so we'll sort that out. A bit of... Apart from that though, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. There is a there, there is a bit of dust on the board, and I don't I don't really want to uh, get the board wet tonight to give it a wash, but um, we we'll give it a clean up tonight, I think. So, right. 
let's concentrate on the case. So the case has uh, some scuff marks around the front. So what I'm gonna try and do is get as much of that stuff off as possible. So I've got a couple of bits we're gonna try for this. So it's, uh, this stuff's called the pink stuff. So, so I don't wanna rub the label out. So we're going to uh, try and get some of these marks that are on the case off. You can see there's some scuff marks around here. So try and, try and get this all cleaned up. Given the uh, the case a nice clean um, from its previous kind of it looked like it was a cream color and it's not cream at all it's um, it's a nice white so um, this console was white and I always thought it was cream but that was just the gunk and dirt that was on it but uh, let's let's have a look what we've done to the top cover now. Now, don't forget, we had quite a lot of marks and black lines um, on this top cover. Um, but let's, let's have a look at it now. So that's come out, that's come out great. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That's all the marks that were around here are all gone. Um, and they were coming down here as well. They are all destroyed, They're all completely removed. So I'm very happy with that. From what it looked like, I'm, I'm, I'm. That, that, that looks like a brand new console, and that's, that's very cool. So even around that, I mean, the, there's a slight <clears throat> where the fire retardants in the plastic, you get kind of like a, a, a little line of around the bottom here, but that's not something I can get out by scrubbing. It's, uh, it's just a chemical reaction of the plastics. Um, you can retro bright it, but we're not going to do that today. Now, moving on to the bottom of the console. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So, I mean, let's have a look. Let's do, let's do a before and after, okay? So this is kind of what it looks like now. You can see it's dirty, it's a bit skanky. It's, 
it's 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 not it's not the best. I mean, for me looking at here, it doesn't even look white. Um, it's it's a cream color. If I if I like, I wonder if I do a side by side comparison, you would be able to see it better maybe. So oh, I don't know if you can. Yeah, the, definitely the top cover's whiter, and uh, there's definitely a creamier color to the bottom part. But um, let's let's give that a scrubbing. So that's the bottom half now cleaned up. So, and that's it's nice and clean on the inside and out. So again, very happy with really for something from the eighties to clean up. It's uh, it's come out well, really. I mean, there's, there's some little scratches in the plastic and I could get rid of those if I buff it, but the texture would get removed and I don't want to do that. Um, again, I'm saying I don't want to do that. But in, in in reality, it's it's turned out great. I mean, it's it, if you weren't looking for the scratches, you wouldn't see them. Um, and it's it's nice little console now. So we put that to one side. Now we'll go back to the motherboard. So I'm not going to wet the motherboard. So let's make sure we've got a clean surface to work on. Now, all I really want to do on this is to just make sure that there's, this is clean because I want to make sure that's clean. Off and on switch, there's your AV, not AV, your um, TV output, um, your joystick, one, your one joystick input um, on this. Now these do actually come with a device to plug in multiple joysticks, which is this, which again, that needs really cleaning up. That's, that's cruddy and really bad. But this again was included in the, in the bundle equipment I got. So we're going to just dust this off. So now, if it doesn't work, would you make a Raspberry? No, no, I wouldn't make it into a Raspberry Pi case. No, because it's, uh, it will work. It will work. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of restoring um, devices back to their original working condition. And I've done it with our old computers like the Commodores, the Big Twenties. You know, I've I bought a Mega Drive many years ago at a car boot sale for a fiver, but this was back when the Mega Drives had come out when they first released. And this person was selling it for a fiver because it was broken. And all it really was was a diode at the back of the uh, Mega Drive was blown. So you fit fit a new diode, bang, working Mega Drive, and I paid five pounds for that. That was back when they were brand new. So it's I'd rather have it work as it should be. Now we just, with the motherboard, we're just gonna give it a quick clean up because it's a bit dusty. Um, I would normally give it a, a kind of bath, um, scrub all the chips, scrub all the motherboard, but it's just dusty. It's not even dirty. It's just, there's just some dust here and there. So we're gonna give it a quick dust over. So your card slots at the top. So your card will fit in this bit here. And there's a little logic board underneath this. So just 
not really dusty, but I'm going to give it a clean out anyway. Um, where the card slots in, we're going to give that a clean out. This is just really, really straightforward and quick to do. The motherboard, I want to be very careful moving this cable because it's it's very hard. So the motherboard is just dusty. I mean, it's it's it just shows it's it's just showing its age. So we'll give this a a quick dust off. This won't make any difference to how it works, but it'll make a difference to how I well myself. I know it's clean on the inside. Moving forward, the power switch. I would normally put some al isopropyl alcohol in it, but I've left that upstairs, so <laughs> we won't be doing that tonight. But it's a it's a it's a good click, so I'm confident it will be fine. So let's put this on there. Okay, it's looking, I mean, it's it didn't look bad in the first place. The, the underneath, I there's no dust on it whatsoever. Um, but it definitely, it definitely looks like it's been modified. I've got to say, there's this cable here. Is that supposed to be a fuse? Gosh, I mean, look at this. It's got a, a piece of wire. If you could, if that will focus, there's a piece of wire just there. Is that supposed to be a fuse? Or is that an after mod? Someone's put that on. Because I've never seen any fuse like that. Yeah, the modifications I can see here is that the the PowerPoint has been soldered heavily. I mean, heavily. There's There's some serious solder on there. Now, what I reckon has happened over the years is with use, the, the power socket was maybe broken and they've done a repair. Um, it's, it's an ugly repair, but it's, it's a functional repair. There's a wire that's been soldered from here going to this little, I think it's a, it's, it's a small FET um, or transceiver that's, or tran that's going there. What, was that? what is that? I can't remember what they're called, but I think it's a FET. Um, that um, that fuse, that fuse wire going across there is funny. Um, I'd also say there's been a modification done here as well. That's definitely a FET there. So there's been there's been some modifications to this console. So this console's had a history as well as these wires that are all over the place. So let's uh, let's clean up the power switch and put it back together. I'll check out the little the, the logo on the chips as well. There's little bumblebee. That's a Hasbro Bumblebee. That's uh, quite cool. That uh, we will we will clean the switch up, and then we will put it back together again. There is a bit of wear on the switch mechanism, so I just want to make sure that that's nice and uh, cleaned up, so I don't see any scratch marks when I switch it over to switch it on. And as I said, these consoles have never been switched on, so and. With this white one, I don't have a um, a TV input kind of thing, RF input. So we will be plugging it into the base unit, which um, I know powers on. So that's good because I have powered up the CD-ROM drive in it. So I mean, that's just that's come up fine. That's just I just wanted to make sure that the scratch marks that are on this piece of red that are not really visible and they just buff straight off, so happy days with that. So we will end up putting this back together now. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, that's just the the, the the click on that switch is is great. It's 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 a great click. You kind of think to yourself, now that switch is gonna work. You know, it's not it's not a, it's not like a soggy soggy click, it's it's a good I'm I'm I mean I'm where I should be click. Right, so let's put this back together again. So we're going to put the card reader mechanism back on with the three screws that are used and the protective cover. I should clean that protective cover. I should give it a wipe at least because it's uh, it is a little dusty. We don't want to put that in there. Yes, it does seem like there has been some repair on it. So. Uh, will it work or won't it work? This is um, this is the question. D could this be why it was at the rubbish dump? 
we will we will definitely find out and if it's working that'll be that'll be amazing um and then the question has to be asked why was it at the rubbish dump because if you look on eBay for these devices now, I wouldn't buy one for the prices that they're up there. But as I said, it was it was many years ago I brought this. Um, so, you know, they may have been worthless back then. Um, but to me, as a, um, a collector of retro stuff, which I've been doing for, for many, 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 many years, it seems, oh, that's a retro console I've not seen before. I'll have that. And it ended up then being put in a loft um, and in a box in a loft for, God, um, I want to say over 20 years. So this has been resting in a loft for, in a lot, in a box in a loft for over 20 years. Now I want to make sure I'm not going to damage any of these weird modifications that have been done to it. It's, uh, they, 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 I, I I wouldn't have thought by it from the factory there would be something like that. Ah, oh my God. I can see exactly what they've done. Okay, okay, now, this is a fuse, okay? This lone piece of wire that's been soldered from there to there is a fuse because there's a fuse in here just behind that diode you can just about make it out, okay? And I bet you that's blown. I bet you anything that's blown and to make it work that they've soldered a wire from there to there. How lazy, how absolutely lazy. Now I, know, I realize it's under a heat sink, but God, man, unsolder it, do it properly. That's ridiculous. Okay, that will be one, if this works, I will have to purchase a replacement fuse and do this properly, okay? So this is the heat shield. Now, if you weren't here at the beginning of the video, I noticed that this heat shield had been removed, but not unsoldered. So it's been um, probably, it, it's either fallen out or forcibly taken out. Now, looking at the bodge work on the motherboard, I would say that's been forcibly removed. They haven't unsoldered this, they just pulled it off. Slot this in, it's looking super clean, this unit. Okay, we lift up the flap. Now, I'll grab one of my universal power supplies and uh, I've already pre-made sure that we have the right end on it. So I need to make sure that it's inside the takeaway as far as I remember on these. And I'm not gonna do that, am I? I'm gonna make sure so it is inside takeaway, so we will do that. So I shall plug it in and we will see what happens when we hook this up. Okay. Get my AV inputs put in. Now I'm going to be really, really optimistic here and I'm going to grab a joystick. There we go, and I'm going to plug it in. Right. Who thinks this is going to work? I think it's going to work. Okay, that one fits. So we use that one. We've got inside takeaway, and we've got nine volts, which is what it should be. Okay. Get my power supply plugged back in. Okay. So, 
We are in. We've got power in. I haven't switched it on yet. But we are, I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be to put power in on this. So we'll switch over to this screen now. So, where is that game cartridge? <laughs> Here it is. So again, here's my little cartridge I got as a test. And if you weren't here at the beginning of the video, I, I also have an SD card reader for it as well, loaded with games. So hopefully we'll be able to have a play with that as well. Right. So this is kind of very similar to the original um, on the Japanese Mega Drives, you have a notch in the cartridge, so you can't pull the cartridges out once they're in. And um, this has a kind of similar thing where you flick over the power switch and it locks the cartridge in place. So we are going to now get ready for switching it on, I suppose. Um, right, so I flick this over and power is now on on the unit but I have to flick this switch for this to come on. So here we go. Wow. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That's been, that's been over 20 years in a box. I picked it up from a rubbish dump. Um, so many years ago and it switches on that's 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 just amazing so let's see what this is well okay well the controller's working ah check this out there's no burning smell i can't smell anything it's it smells fine i ah that's amazing Oh, I did that bad. I didn't die straight away. That's great. Okay, so you must have a life bar. Oh, I'm just, I'm not doing well at this. Oh, this is so cool. Ah, oh, but I'm not very good at this. Oh, I'm just going to jump past all this. There we go. The controls are interesting. They are, um, they're not very precise. Ah. Oh. Gosh, it's um, it's like it's kind of like like a master system, graphics-wise. It's like kind of reminds me of Alex Kidd. Oh, I didn't see him. Go away! Ah, can I just walk past him? What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, it's two of them. How can I could kill that one really quickly and the other one just didn't want to die? In the water. I can shoot in the water. Nice. What the heck is this? Oh. Okay, this is where things get difficult. So, I, yeah, anyone know Japanese? Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. I can't know. I can't read Japanese. I wonder if I can use the translate camera app. Oh, it come out. Okay, that's cool. It must have been some kind of shock because you had something very similar on its kid as well, where you um, you would do the rock paper scissors thing um, to get past. What is that? What's going on? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> so we have a working console, uh, and I'm died. We have a working console, and that's that's amazing. It's um, the game on the other hand is what the heck, um, but I am, I am very, 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 very happy that we have one working console so far. So I think the next episode will be to get the other console working as well, get that clean up. The only problem we've got with the other console is it's kind of gray and you, I don't think you're going to see the clean up as, um, as good as the white one and the white one has just kind of turned out amazing but it's working and i'm very 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 happy and i wonder if we should try this sd card adapter out because it's it turned up this morning so you know great timing so let's i suppose have a look let's uh 
Let's see what we can do here. Here we go. Okay. What the heck is Strip Fighter 2? <laughs> what is this? What the heck are these? Okay, so... So, what we got here? So, it does say Japan... It does say Japan? No, does it? I wouldn't have thought it would take that long to load. Let's try a different one. Do not turn off the system. Oh! Oh, oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, no way. No way, come on, let's get the game going. I want to see it work. Oh, you are kidding. Well, I think this, you could call this a success. That's, uh, that's amazing, this, uh, we have a working PC engine and I am currently playing 1943 on, on the, it's, it's brilliant. I will have to hook this up to my main TV and have many hours of fun with this. So that, uh, that is a cleanup of a junkyard PC engine. Come back next time for the second PC engine restore and we can see if we can get that CD-ROM drive unit working as well. But, uh, Cheers for coming, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks very much.